Maria Gattana Agnesi was an Italian mathematician, philosopher, theologian and humanitarian. She was the first woman to write a mathematics handbook and the first woman appointed as a mathematics professor at a university. She is credited with writing the first book discussing both differential and integral calculus and was a member of the faculty at the University of Bologna. Although she never served, she devoted the last four decades of her life to studying theology and to charitable work and serving the poor. This extended to helping the sick by allowing them entrance into her home where she set up a hospital. She was a devout Catholic and wrote extensively on the marriage between intellectual pursuit and mystical contemplation, most notably in her essay Il Cielo Mystico. She saw the rational contemplation of God as a complement to prayer and contemplation of the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Maria Teresa Agnesi Pinottini, clavicombalist and composer, was her sister. Early life Maria Gattana Agnesi was born in Milan, to a wealthy and literate family. Her father Pietro Agnesi, a University of Bologna mathematics professor, wanted to elevate his family into the Milanese nobility. In order to achieve his goal, he had married Anna Fortunata Brivia in 1717. Her mother's death provided her the excuse to retire from public life. She took over management of the household. Maria was recognized early on as a child prodigy. She could speak both Italian and French at five years of age. By her 11th birthday, she had also learned Greek, Hebrew, Spanish, German, and Latin, and was referred to as the seven-tongued orator. She even educated her younger brothers. When she was nine years old, she composed and delivered an hour-long speech in Latin to some of the most distinguished intellectuals of the day. The subject was women's right to be educated. Agnesi suffered a mysterious illness at the age of 12 that was attributed to her excessive studying and was prescribed vigorous dancing and horseback riding. This treatment did not work, she began to experience extreme convulsions, after which she was encouraged to pursue moderation. By age 14, she was studying ballistics and geometry. When she was 15, her father began to regularly gather in his house a circle of the most learned men in Bologna, before whom she read and maintained a series of theses on the most abstruse philosophical questions. Records of these meetings are given in Charles de Brosse's Lettre sur l'Italia and in the Propositionist Philosophy, which her father had published in 1738 as an account of her final performance, where she defended 190 theses. Maria was very shy in nature and did not like these meetings. Her father remarried twice after Maria's mother died, and Maria Agnesi ended up the eldest of 21 children, including her half-siblings. In addition to her performances and lessons, her responsibility was to teach her siblings. This task kept her from her own goal of entering a convent, as she had become strongly religious. Although her father refused to grant this wish, he agreed to let her live from that time on in an almost conventual semi-retirement, avoiding all interactions with society and devoting herself entirely to the study of mathematics. After having read in 1739 the Traité Analytique des Sections Coniques of the Marquis Guillaume de l'Hôpital, she was fully introduced into the field in 1740 by Ramiro Rampanelli an Olivetan monk who was one of the most notable Italian mathematicians of that time. During that time, Maria studied with him both differential and integral calculus. Fellow philosophers thought she was extremely beautiful, and her family was recognized as one of the wealthiest in Milan. Maria became a professor at the University of Bologna. Contributions to Mathematics Institutione Analytica According to Dirk Jan Struck, Agnesi is the first important woman mathematician since Hypatia. The most valuable result of her labors was the Institutione Analytica ad USO della Gioventù Italiana, which was published in Milan in 1748 and was regarded as the best introduction extant to the works of Euler. The goal of this work was 
according to Agnesi herself, to give a systematic illustration of the different results and theorems of infinitesimal calculus. The model for her treatise was Le calcul différentielle intégrale dans l'analyse by Charles René Reynaud. In this treatise, she worked on integrating mathematical analysis with algebra. The first volume treats of the analysis of finite quantities and the second of the analysis of infinitesimals. A French translation of the second volume by P. T. and Tell Me, with additions by Charles Bossett, was published in Paris in 1775, and Analytical Institutions. An English translation of the whole work by John Colson, the Luasian professor of mathematics at Cambridge, inspected by John Hellens, was published in 1801 at the expense of Baron Marceres. The work was dedicated to Empress Maria Theresa, who thanked Agnesi with the gift of a diamond ring, a personal letter, and a diamond and crystal case. Many others praised her work, including Pope Benedict XIV, who wrote her a complimentary letter and sent her a gold wreath and a gold medal. In writing this work, Agnesi was advised and helped by two distinguished mathematicians, her former teacher Ramiro Rampanelli and Jacopo Riccati, which of Agnesi the Institutioni Analytis, among other things, discussed a curve earlier studied and constructed by Pierre de Fermat and Guido Grandi. Grandi called the curve versoria in Latin and suggested the term versiera for Italian, possibly as a pun. Versoria is a nautical term, sheet, while versiera, a versiera is, she devil, which from Latin adversarius, an alias for, devil. For whatever reasons, after translations and publications of the Institutioni Analytis, the curve has become known as the Witch of Agnesi. Other Agnesi also wrote a commentary on the Traité Analytique des Sections Coniques du Marquis de l'Hôpital, which, though highly praised by those who saw it in manuscript, was never published. Later life, in 1750, on the illness of her father, she was appointed by Pope Benedict XIV to the Chair of Mathematics and Natural Philosophy and Physics at Bologna, though she never served. She was the second woman ever to be granted professorship at a university, Laura Bassi being the first. In 1751, she became ill again and was told not to study by her doctors. After the death of her father in 1752 she carried out a long-cherished purpose by giving herself to the study of theology, and especially of the fathers and devoted herself to the poor, homeless and sick, giving away the gifts she had received and begging for money to continue her work with the poor. In 1783, she founded and became the director of the Opera Pia Tribalcio, a home for Milan's elderly where she lived as the nuns of the institution did. Remembrance. Which of Agnesi? A curve. A crater on Venus. Asteroid 16765 Agnesi.